today we have three more gates of Hod, one linear gate and two triangular gates. Now our linear gate today is a connection between the hidden path between Tiferet and Hod. Now this is a connection between the rational intellect and the higher intellect between the fire and air regions of the temporal mental body and the water region of the temporal mental body. Okay, so this is the difference between subjective meaning, which is closely related to essential meaning, and significance. Okay, so our first gate is the linear gate. So we start in Tiferet and descend into Chod. Okay? And then we return. So, <clears throat> from the universal perspective, this is the whole body of uh, solitary cells descending into the Chod. The whole body of sentient cells in Hod. So the, the whole body of solitary cells fills that realm of the water region of the mental body that is dealing in significance. And we have here the, uh, well, in human terms, the rational intellect. But it is that part of the sentient selves which determines whether or not it is going to resonate, okay? So it has a control over resonance. That is the whole body of solitary selves realizing that it has this power to determine for itself how much it is going to resonate. And at the personal level, this is again the higher intellect connecting and shining a light upon the lower intellect, the rational intellect, which deals solely in significance. So this is an important connection, and really uh, raises the lower intellect. This is the way that we can raise the lower intellect till it really, uh, the seat of the intellect can then be raised to the, to the solitary self as opposed to the sentient self. So it is seated, as it were, in the higher parts of the mental body instead of the water region of the mental body. Okay. So that is our first gate. Now, our second and third gates bring in even higher parts of the awareness, okay? So, second gate starts in Tiferet, descends into Hod, and then rises up that hidden path to Hokmah. And then comes down the path of Zayin back into Tiferet, the path of Gemini into Tiferet. And then we go back around. So what this does is it involves and that input of essential meaning, pure essential meaning directly into the lower intellect. Okay, and it makes this connection of Zayin to Tiferet. The, um, that first realization of self and others. So it's putting this intellect the structure of the higher and lower intellect working together 
into that context of self and other. Right? Now our third gate, the second triangle here, is from Tiferet to Hod, and then straight up that hidden path to Kether, and then down the path of Beth of Saturn, back into Tiferet, and back around. So this brings Kether into the equation. It brings <clears throat> Kether into this intellect, this relationship between the higher and lower intellect, and that path of death. Now the really important thing <clears throat> in this gate is that descent from Kether into Tiferet by Beth. This is what unites these aspects of awareness. <clears throat> okay. So, <clears throat> that's it for today. And next time, we will be looking at the path of Pe and the role that it plays. Okay, the path of Mercury. Okay, till then.